Hi, welcome to The Hinge. Okay, so Mandalorian episode four. Spoilers. I think it was just Xena Warrior Princess. You say, you, say, you say that, but like, I've not seen Xena Warrior Princess for a long time, but you're saying it was just like an old 90s show. Well, it was that... Xena Warrior Princess and then she had a, a blonde bird who's a mate. And yeah, I, mean, I know, I remember. Kissing near the end. I remember it was And hot. they running around. But it was like where they, they go to like these little like villages and they go and help out and there's like mm. a monster or whatever and Xena kills. No, I get that. And it, it was very much it's that quite slash to that. Magnificent but... Seven and I was also thinking High Plains Drift, which is very much Magnificent Seven, the where they're like... training people with sticks to shoot <laughs> the thing. Shoot... But, but they've said that it's like a Western and he's pretty much like Clint Eastwood and they're going to do loads of western kind of things. It was kind of western-y. Oh, no, but it was like, it was just a bit too like, oh, I know exactly what's going to happen. Like, every part of it was just like, apart from Baby Odin getting shot, every yeah. other part of the plot was like, oh. This... It also reminded me a bit of, which is the same thing, is uh, A Bug's Life, where the, oh, all the yeah. grasshoppers are going in and stealing all the stuff. Yeah, it is a bit like A Bug's Life. Yeah, actually. so it was just like, which yeah. again, is, I think is, and it's like The Seven Samurai. But that's it's like all, so it's many just, things. It's just yeah, a set yeah, storyline. So but the, um, I felt the, it was quite interesting seeing the sort of like, the weird backwater little wars that are going on. When I, when it first, first came about, I know they were all chasing them into the fields or like it was all going nuts and they were mm. sort of like there with all the sticks. Yes. Uh, it didn't feel very Star Warsy, But mm. then I was like, actually, you know, it makes sense. They're kind of, they're really alien. It didn't, it just didn't feel like Star Wars really. Did you not that feel... part. But then later on, it kind of felt a lot more like Star Wars yeah, when, did he, you not when feel... he arrived. Did you not feel bad for all the little... They're a bit like slap and dash, slap and dash, slap dash with the with the krill things. They were just chucking them around, the little oh, yeah. shrimp things that glowed. And then they went when Baby Yoda was sort of wanting to eat them, they were just throwing them on the ground. Like I felt bad on the little oh, uh, the little krill that were about the to little eat krill. Them and they they just, almost instantly. They, and they were them. too much like little fish. They've been knocked out of the goldfish bowl. Uh, but I massively <laughs> liked. They were quite cute. Though. Yeah, they're really cute, and it yeah. was just like just you're wasting. Yeah, them. I get that. Um, you're wasting. <laughs> I want the man Lord at the end to have on like a little fish bowl, and then have him on his ship and fly away. It's what? So it's like, like so it's like Super Mario Odyssey where you just get little mementos from, from, yeah, from yeah, exactly. from each planet. It's like this um, is my krill thing. But I massively love the fact of having sort of random old Imperial like stuff like the ATS. Yeah. That just knock it, being left when yeah. they fucked off. Which I thought, yeah, I thought that it. was really really cool. I was wondering how they got it. Uh, the ATS was cool and all, but because of obviously. Um, the Battle of Endor. If it's, Chewbacca could just sort of swing on in a rope and get on top of it, yeah. that bit where he gets someone that's clearly not moving yeah. for a no, second. No, I kind of get, yeah, the um, why can the Mandalorian not do that? Or just throw a grenade on the floor and blow its leg yeah. up. Or, or the Mandalorian just go in, jumping on top of it and then throwing a grenade in just, its... In yeah, it, or just, just exactly run like behind it because it, it can't yeah. do anything. This one did seem like it, it went quicker than the ones in in the Battle of Endor, but obviously only because of the Technology. lack of lim- limitations. Yeah, have, yeah, yeah. I find it weird that she sort of called Yoda his son. Yeah, I thought it was a girl. I thought what? Yoda was a little girl. I don't know oh, why. no, I think it's definitely... Little... Yeah, no, I definitely thought it was I don't know girl. why, I just got the vibe it was um, a little girl. No, yeah, but I thought it was just weird that it's like, you and your son can be happy here, and he's supposed to be like... I know, if he took... Do you think when he takes his helmet off, it's just going to be a big Yoda head? Like, <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Is that what actually... Maybe that I is what know, she yeah. thought. It's like, you and your baby. Because no also, one's ever seen but Yoda also, she was just instantly into it. Yeah. She was instantly all about the fact that no one's seen his face. Yeah. Like, she was like, so no one's seen it? And we got really, he's really into it. He's not taken his helmet off what, since... I think he says he's not taken it off since... No, he took it off yesterday. No, 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 but he said but, like, no one's seen his off, face, yeah. sorry. He said, like, since no one's seen his face. Since he was about those age, yeah, 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 their yeah. age or whatever. Staring at those kids with his helmet off. Yeah, and then he just took his helmet off and then just looked r- right out the window yeah. while the woman was there, while anyone could just, just look around. Oh, hello! Like, yeah, I wonder if he showed Baby Yoda. You know, like, if he's, like, showering, Baby Yoda's everywhere. You know, Baby Yoda's going to be, like, wandering in. You know, it's pressing not... All buttons, pressing all the buttons. Pressing all the buttons, just doing stuff like... Yeah, yeah, you know, like, if he's in the shower, Baby Yoda's coming in there. Because yeah. Baby Yoda wants to always just be around. So he's obviously seen him in the shower. Yeah. In the shower. That's just weird. Where you yeah. You've got some weird yeah, fan fiction there. Like... I don't know why I have created that. But, like, he's, that's the only time where I can imagine he needs to take it off. Yeah, or just if get stuff in his eye, like, you no, know, like a bit of an eyelash, and you're, like, trying to get your eyelash up through your mask. Yeah. Black Widow. Black Widow, what are your impressions then, Joe? I know a lot of the footage was from other films and stuff. Uh, I noticed some, like, D.A. Scott Johansson looks like she has her old nose or something. Okay. Um, or, you know what I mean? It looks like that yeah, old... Her face is... I don't know if she's had a nose job, but her face... Just something about, you don't think she's had a nose job? Well, I don't know if she has, but her face has changed. <laughs> her face... She's aged. It's just how it <laughs> is. Oh, yeah. Um, noses get smaller. Noses get smaller. commonly I known. I don't know. I think my nose is getting cute. <laughs> yeah, well, um, that's... That's our curse. That's, that's how it goes on. That is um, our curse. No, it seemed okay. I don't know. It's it's. Well, I say I'm just. I was just saying secretly off camera that uh, I've seen uh, the Spider Man movie. Wait, that was off camera because there's no real drive. So I to to watch it because I'm like, well, but I know where the story's going to go. Cause yeah. It's like the prequel. It's just like Spider Man's like little extra. It's like, well, 
it's interesting. That's I, all happened I, I now. I find it quite interesting. I think it's more of just an origin story, really, for her. Like, I don't know. We're going to see, obviously, flashbacks into the origin. It's going to... I don't know, because no one knows where the fuck she's come from. So, obviously, she does deserve her story. I am 100% sure that that fucking Red Guardian is going to die almost instantly. Oh, David Harbour. Part of me just feels like he's just going to be like... Like like drinking vodka and then just does some sort of sacrifice. I'm know, calling I, that. I'm saying I'm that's gonna how he's going to die. He's going to stay in Russia and just drink loads of vodka and be hide away at the end, and then maybe he'll reappear in another movie. Yeah. So uh, yeah, no, I, I think the music was really good as also. Do you, Do you know, know what? I didn't even. I did hear it, but I didn't really pick up on it. It didn't. It was really cool. It was like a. There was a bit of like a siren sort of like music oh, kind of going on. It was sounded. The music wasn't as like heroy. As like the the other Marvel ones, yeah. you know, a, um, I don't know. So I'm kind of like hoping it sort of takes a bit of a darker turn. It did seem a bit darker than the other ones. Yeah, it well, seemed like Winter Soldier dark. Yeah, well, it was. I've not seen it, but it was making me think of um, what was it Red Sparrow? I think yeah, that was meant it, to be like a bit was, of a Black Widow kind of film as well. Yeah, I, I get that, but obviously more superhero-y. Yeah, like, you know, like people in giant suits and stuff. Yeah, and also when she, I was thinking of the uh, Spider Man thing when she's like in the white suit like going down I thought if she got like um, there's a bit where she's jumping from an explosion she's like sort of flying oh, yeah. and I was like if she got a wingsuit it making me think of um, Spider-Man where yeah. he's doing the same sort of thing I was getting I don't know why I was getting Spider-Man homecoming vibes but it's, it's in maybe, the same sphere maybe she used the wingsuit no because yeah, you see a dead don't you no it's yeah, Cameron dead. no, that's no, no she dies in like uh, you do see a dead on the bottom yeah yeah because you'll book him out of red but do you yeah have you seen this stupid Harrison Ford like weird like Red Dead Redemption shit <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's like Harrison Ford and a dog, and it's like his man's journey. Or yes. Something. Sorry, I have not seen it, but I was listening to a podcast about where it's it's called like oh, what's it called? Like, some I want to say it's called it's like, like journey. Hero's journey. It's yeah. called like, but not hero's journey. No, it might be a hero's journey or a hero's. No, that's that's like a, it's like a something journey. I thought, journey yeah. to hero or journey home or something. So, what's it called? A dog's journey. A dog's journey. So it was no hit. There was no heroes. It's the right dog. This. No, that's a different film. That's Harrison. That's not Harrison Ford. This is a completely no, separate. Film. Oh wait, that's thing. This Dennis is a dog. Quaid, it's not called it? a dog's journey. It's well, called. You said just type called... in Harrison Ford dog film. That's Call to the wild. We were no journey. We were no way near. No, oh, this one's next year. Sorry, this is a different dog film here. Right. It looks so red deadish. Snow level. <laughs> yeah, that snow bit. But look at that. I came do you know what I mean like that like, yeah, yeah. he's the dog so far all of this could be a real dog I think it is a real dog that's not a CGI dog oh yeah so far so far you can't make see. a dog do that you can't slam, slam a door can, in a dog's face you can anymore you CGI a door you can't, better than CGI a dog you can't, well, and the dog's going to get slammed yeah. into what he's clapping his face his leg like <laughs> Someone else is there, like yeah. a green man that's just there. To I want to it. Yeah, dog in a box. You can't lock yeah, a dog you, in a box. Yeah, you can, just for a second. No, because they want to put this dog for his shit. They okay, need you to can't choke it. the dog. They need to cut it. I don't know where you came from, but I know where you are now. That was a dog talking, though. You read the novel? <laughs> yeah. That could be a dog. Well, yeah, obviously they all could be dogs. Well, no, we're not going to see the most interesting part and the most action-packed part of the film where a dog's like leaping off into that and running in that and yeah. that dog's dumping and doing that. It's all got to be CGI. It's probably like mocap real dog. They're going to mocap a dog to have a dog. Yeah, they're going to mocap, mocap a dog to do, the, to do all the stuff just they can't get them a dog to jump on ice. I was thinking that the um the Pokemon thing where the, at the end the dog's gonna talk and it's like Pikachu <laughs> yeah I, know, I was thinking I about that as well <laughs> Pikachu why don't you get in your ball <laughs> it's because <laughs> I love you too much I need to watch that film just for the last I really yeah we we'll have to review it not that <laughs> no not no that. the uh, the Pikachu one yeah. Speaking of Pokemon, no, no, I'm joking. We don't have to talk about Pokemon. I'm almost completed Pokemon. Okay, apart from the dog's little eyebrow at the end, everything else could have been a dog. He did a little eyebrow. I, face. I feel like we're seeing a trailer and seeing literally ten seconds of dog footage there, and really. Well, I just feel like I'm looking at the wrong. You're looking at the wrong film. We were looking at the wrong I'm not film. Try a dog's journey. <laughs> I'm not yeah, going to see any hard. Yeah. Um, 
Again? See, they use real dogs. Well, yeah, because it's a shit film and the dog's just cute and just like, oh. Oh, God, fuck these dogs. Fuck these dogs. I don't care about these dogs. Today's Hinge is sponsored by uh, DVD Force for Nintendo Cube, Nintendo Magazine Cube. Mark, let's just go through which games have we played on this list. Well, on, that, on there. So on we, these brand new games that are coming play, out. Yeah, these new games that have come out. Well, we've got, already got the exclusive, so we can play them early. Yeah, we've, we've, uh, we've played Super, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Is that on there? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Wave Race Blue Storm <laughs> played. I've not played. I've only played the original on it. Played, not completed. Yeah, Pyman Vengeance. Um, didn't no, didn't even never. It didn't even know. Like, but obviously it's only just come out, so I, I'm not Star Fox Adventures I used to fucking love. Well, I mean, yes. I love because it's still currently coming out. Pikmin but, and, strange enough, I've actually played two Pikmin past this. I've oh really? really How have you even I've done that? I've got Pikmin 3, um, I know it's pretty big What's deal. really good about that is the fact that it's also got um, little clips from the new series of the yeah, spoilers. come out. Spoilers. Hold on to your jaw, because the jaw dropping vehicles. Vehicles? Vehicles. <laughs> Visuals. Uh, and it's yes. here, it's happening, and it isn't a one-off. <laughs> it's DVD Force, and every month it offers the very best in-game footage of the very best GameCube and GBA <laughs> games. That's right, every issue of GeForce, sorry, they are sponsored GeForce, not yeah. GeForce. Um, sorry, GeForce. With a free DVD force which builds into a line of great GameCube and GBA games presented with professional quality voiceovers and menu sequences. Oh my god. Now you can see those games in action before you decide to buy Rated. Rated Magazine. Oh, so that's part of that's a different magazine. Oh. Okay. Double sponsor. Anyway, okay. here's so, Gorgo. Thanks a lot.